Hello everyone, and welcome to Cat Hotel. So, while I was watching the recording for the last video, I noticed that my voice was incredibly quiet. So I'll try to be a bit louder this time, I guess. And the thing here is all of our cats are a bit unwell. As you can see, Puffles, who belongs to the Evans family, feels, feels a bit unwell, had some hearing issues. And Mr. Weber has been a bit too generous with Carla's food, it appears. But I'm sure she'll be fine with a bit of exercise. Of course, all of them are treated now. Wait, Mimi's your tooth? Okay. Mimi's tooth is okay, and Mimi belongs to the Simpsons. The Simpsons? What? That's insane. I didn't know the Simpsons were in Cat Hotel. But yeah, P Puffles is absolutely adorable, and I wish... Mimi and Puffles are both adorable. Like, I don't even remember clicking on you, but... You know what? I guess we're gonna take care of you then. And give you the care set sober, because I don't have any other care sets. Care set gold is like my dream. <laughs> Never mind the rainbow care set, or the diamond ones. Pure, whatever they're called. I don't know. I don't remember these things. Just put some magical fairy dust on there. <laughs> I really don't know what that is. If you have any guesses as to what the weird blue shiny stuff is, uh, why was I rubbing the treats on Mimi? I apologize. But if you have any guesses to what the blue powder stuff is, please tell me. I don't know what it is. I really don't. Okay, so Mimi has already had enough fun for today, but no, Mimi's favorite game is the laser pointer. And yes, all of our cats from last time have left. Dude, uh, Carla? Are you alright? You seem to be stuck behind the fireplace there. Here we have Puffles, just an adorable little cinnamon roll. Oh, she's looking over the table, that's so cute. Let's see. You could use Groomed a bit, I guess. Of course, the well being, I don't, I can't actually do anything about that. Just brush through your fur really quick. I run out of things to say a lot of times while I'm recording. Uh,. And it, it just gets really awkward. Like, in the first episode of Cat Hotel, I was just kind of super quiet at the end of the video, which isn't too great. <laughs> when probably the most interesting part about these episodes is just me talking over them. Because imagine watching this without the audio. <laughs> that would be terrible, and I'm definitely not playing without the audio. I don't know what I can do about their well-being, though. I guess I just, like, feed them. Oh my god, I forgot to feed them. What the heck? Hold on, let me feed Puffles. Oh, wait, no, this is Mimi's thing. I seem to stop getting them confused. What the heck? Okay, Carla. We're gonna give you some exercise. And first we're gonna try with the laser pointer game because apparently <laughs> Carla needs to lose a bit of weight and exercise some more, so I think the laser pointer game would be the best. I know it's not her favorite game, but I guess that doesn't really matter in this situation, really. I was told to help Carla lose weight and that's what I'll be doing. Of course, I will still play her favorite game with her, because if I didn't, that would just be evil. But anyway, just gonna knock a bunch of stuff over, I guess. Because that's how cats should behave in this hotel. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a very odd hotel, but I guess the cats like it. Carla knocked over 12 objects. That's pretty decent for a cat who is said to be a little, a little on the chunky side. Okay, I, I should be able to have this feather teaser toy, but I can't. Wait, this isn't- oh, you need two hotel stars. Well, apparently our hotel doesn't have the best of ratings right now, but so far all of our customers have been getting a lot happier with how their cats are when they leave the hotel, I, I say, as I mess up while playing with Carla. Forgive me, little one. But, yeah. All of the customers seem like they've been really happy. And the cats seem like they're really happy too. 
Would you really call them customers? Clients, I guess would be a better word. She still grabbed two, the teaser twice. So that's pretty good. You just need a bit more exercise, don't you? Nope. Guess we'll keep going. Just knock it over. Please, Carla. Don't make my life too hard. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just gonna do my thing. And I don't like having the audio muted because it's really, really weird having the audio muted because you can't hear anything. And the cats open their mouths, but nothing comes out on the screen. It's like, what? But every time I have the audio on, even just barely, even just like one tick, you just can't hear me at all. Carla knocked over only eight objects this time, but that's still pretty good. Okay, I don't think she actually likes the laser pointer game, like, at all. So I won't be mean and force her to play it. Again, there's probably a lot of background noise, but there always is. The air conditioner is on, there's just other people at my house, so... And it'll be like that. <laughs> and I'm too lazy to go anywhere else to record, so... Yeah. <laughs> just gonna kinda have to live with the background noise. I'm surprised I got that one. Carla seems to be enjoying herself though. Which is always great. Got the, she got the teaser all three times. Great job. Okay. Let's see a little more. Oh, well, she's tired. Can't force her to play. That's just a mean. Let's see, me. Mimi. What do you need? You don't need anything at all. Mimi is very happy. Everyone seems to be incredibly happy. Carla just needs her needs taken care of. And she seems to be pretty tired, so I guess... The day will pass. And so... And the recording will end, because it always ends when the day ends. Anyway... Goodbye for now. Have a great day.